سيرات الجن علمت عليهم خير المحذوب عليهم ولا الدالين آمين ربنا أتم لنا نورنا وكفر لنا شيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا آتينا ما وعدنا على رسولك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامة إنك لا تخل الميلاد ربنا آتينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار كرمة الله مفصل وسلم وبارك على هذا النبي الكريم سيد سند الأزيم زلق البر رحيم سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما سبحان ربك رب الإجة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين آمين آمين شكرا نما إمام جالو بشاب we have the floor please thank you chairman Lord God of all power and might the creator the sustainer and the provider and, and protector of all humankind that you have made in your image and in your likeness. The God of all masses, we continue to thank you for your mercy in seeing us through throughout the past week. And it is by your goodness and your grace that you have ushered us to the beginning of an other new week. We continue to submit ourselves unreservedly under your direction. And we continue to commit all who will appear before the TRRC this week under your direction. That by Holy Ghost power, you shall grant each and every one of them to be bold enough to speak the truth and grants the commission the designing spirit to design between truth and falsehood. And we do ask that you grant the population and those that are in the diaspora, and indeed the international community as well, that they will exercise patience to allow the due process to take its proper course. And at the end of it all, you being the just judge, we reward each and every one accordingly. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Amen Bishop Adeko. Uh, Council, I believe um, uh, we are continuing with our theme on the massacre of the West African migrants in uh, July 2005. If that is um, the case, you, and you're ready with this morning's witness, you may please proceed. Um, uh, to bring in the witness. But before that, just want to remind everybody today being the International um, uh, Day for Women, and uh, 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 we send our greetings um, uh, to our women folk and uh, wish everybody a happy International Women's Day. Then, uh, Deputy, if you would want to uh, leave a few things, there is no statement that we are uh, issuing today but uh, you may want to say a few words. You have the floor, Deputy. Thank you, Chair. I'll come to your council later. Thank you, Chair. Uh, happy Women's Day to all Gambian women, but not only Gambian women, but women the world over. This is a day that the United Nations has set aside for the world to recognize the role that women play in society. And it is a day when they are recognized not only for their resilience, but for their productivity, for their reproductive role, and for all the other good things that they do in society. And most of it unpaid, unrecognized, unappreciated. The last two years have been very tough for women. COVID-19 has not made things easy, but the women have been there. So as we balance for equality, we call for balance and equality. We are thanking our men folk who have been walking the talk with us. We cannot do without the men. When we say Women's Day, 
we know that the men have also played a role in not only passing the laws and the policies that have made it possible, but that they are there educating, empowering, helping, and supporting women to reach the SDGs as the Sustainable Development Goals. I thank you very much. Enjoy the day. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much, Emma, Deputy. Uh, Council, sorry, you may now proceed. Sorry for that interruption. Uh, thank you very much, <coughs> Mr. Chair. Uh, and thank you also to Deputy Chair for that uh, beautiful statement. Uh, we all congratulate all women in the Gambia and around the world for this important day. Uh, and uh, I ask all men to renew their commitment to supporting women and women causes and to empower them to help continue to help improve our society. Uh, thank you very much. May I ask that the witness be brought in, please? Thank you. I, Adam Conte. Nte Adam Conte. Nte Adam Conte. Do swear them. Ben Kali Lako. Ben Kali Lako. I'll speak the truth. Be Tonya Le Fola. Be Tonya Le Fola. The whole truth. Tonya Damma. Tonya Damma. And nothing but the truth. Nte Fem Fola Mem Manke Tonya. Nte Fem Fola Mem Manke Tonya. So help me God. Woto Alama Alei Makwe. Woto Alama Alei Makwe. Madam Witness, welcome to the TRRC. Say do the Bismillah the TRRC. Okay. Uh, we have okay. met uh, briefly a few minutes ago. Ben dala minute dan tan koma. Ade. And uh, yes. I, I would help you go through your testimony. Dala betan bile nyaato ke de ma e puri la sey den do nyaati no nyaato. Okay. Okay. Please relax and Feel as comfortable as you can possibly be. Do you remember that? La, if I'm sorry, don't you see? If I'm sorry, you didn't carry on in Jabro. Let me be now. Sorry, let me tell you, ma'am. If you don't understand any question that I I may ask, please just indicate, and uh, I would uh, uh, explain the question. You didn't carry on in Jabro. You which one you know? Ni ma, ni na, ni didn't carry on. You didn't carry on. Sure. I can't keep you malo. You didn't carry on. Cut and keep. Isaja, Isaja. You didn't carry on. You didn't carry on. Okay. Okay. Uh, Please note that under the rules of this commission and the laws of this country, um, lying on the oath or providing false or misleading evidence or information is an offence. Uh, and uh, I know it's difficult uh, going through things like this. But I encourage you to, to try to speak up as much as possible so that we can also hear very clearly this important story that you have to tell. 
hani nga bi fanan wonya ki wonya be dani la ngalon akole atade bari be dani la dong isa kata ila dia moni ngone si kango si kandido mandi sa jange la dia moni moyi tumala men na ibina kuma la fola jamiya non ko kuma kuma balam e na insi yo kono jam okay okay uh what are your full names uh itoni konta ngodum adama konte my name is adama konte what's your date of birth wuru da sanjuma la 1982 march 10 I was born on uh, March 10, 1982. Mbuluta ya. Okay. Uh, happy birthday in advance. Thank you. Dong awe control na ila bulu samala. And uh, where were you born? Mbuluta Mindole. Banjo. I was born in Banjo. Where in Banjo? Na ya sabu Mbuluta Mindo, Banjo Mindo. I know you understand the English language, but uh, I advise that you wait for the interpretation before you are, before you respond okay ko asonta nyinna la ko tuba ko ngi ye do mandi suute je la ndu ka moy la nda ma fo do mandi ni nga fo ni nga fo ra janni be jabiro di la e si hakilo e si ila moy kan na sor la la fo do janni be jabiro di la thank you very much inumbara you were married a koy fudu dal dal ko di ade and by july of 2005 you are a married woman july karo kono 2005 san kono o wato e be futu wala kodi ade yes who was your husband wala mo ne kedi lamin tumkara my husband was lamin tumkara what can you tell us about lamin tumkara isi mo na fo nonye lamin tumkara la koro Tell us about him. His age, where he came from, and those details. Eh, kuma fanya la kura la sanjio ni mbe sanjio jelo anu abora mindo le. Abora badi bunu kinta kunda marong kunda. He hails from kinta kunda marong kunda in Baribu district. Ala sanjio right now two phone ona exactly. Right now I cannot uh, say anything about his age. Do you remember his date or year of birth? Fo ya kilo sa mudano awuru da lum menda ban waranda awuru da sango men. Mani. No. By how many years was he older than you? Eh asiate iteti sanji jelu. Ani mala asiate ante sanji jelu. No, I don't know how much years he was older than me. Where did he live? Abe sabata de min dole. Talinde. He was living in Talinde. And uh, <coughs> do you know where he went to school? Yalla ne karango da mun da min dole ba. Eh la mu ta badibu la. He started his schooling in Badibu. Um What work did he do as far as you know? Ete la lon doto. Ay ko mun do ko leke. Businessman wala. He was a businessman. And what kind of business was he involved in? mon jula ya sifa ka menke ada bula ka da bula mendo ka feta foto le wa fe no he used to sell clothes new or used eh kutamal bang fo menu dunda bang kutamal new ones did he have a shop eh bidi ko le ba bunu bang ha de yes and where was the shop o bidi ko be menu mendo le banjul in banjul i have seen a statement from his father eh nga kuma kan safir ngoje jang mi alon ko abota fa male bulu but before going into that let me ask you bari jannim bi da auto mar nge nyinin ka do you know whether he did any other work apart from selling clothes in banjo fo yalla na fo akado ko tan do kila bang ning abota e jula yalla ka fe wafo fe to foto wafo menge banjo hanin de molonde no i don't know that do you know that he used to work at bara Eh yalla na ko eh adalta ka do ko kenum bara le fanam ba hani mo ko lo no i was not aware of that do you know that he used to work in the canoes yalla na fanam ko anana ka ka do ko kenum nyin kulun de ngolto le ba bara bara hani no do you know that he used to help people to go to europe eh fo yenim fanal lon na ko ko ka mol de mala pour ka ta babudu bankol kam ba Halabanta o moyla. Yes, I had that uh, uh, lastly. But before before uh, 2006 did you know that? Are janin 2006 sangono fayo lonne bang. 
Yes, since after this arrest took place, it was after that that I, became, I came to know about that. And, uh, but before the arrest, you did not know anything about, about, about that, that part of his life. Yes, I don't, I was not aware. Okay. So, um, could you, has he, as far as you know, for how many years have you been married with him before he disappeared? It was less than a year. It's just a matter of some months. So, in fact, you were newly wed before he disappeared. Yes. So, can we say you perhaps did not know some aspects of his life? Yes, kind of tell us what happened around July 22nd and 23rd of 2005. Yeah, was a day, one morning, we were sitting over breakfast. I called Soto. He received a call. But I, I didn't know who was talking to him. But I heard him saying, I'm coming, I'm coming. He was speaking in English by then. Then he, let, he later told me, I'm going to Banjul and come back. Okay, okay, problem time. I said, okay, no problem. I'm be sitting a ulta tata. Then that's the time when he left us. I told to swap on. He left us at home. Be you phone to contenta. We were there till after lunch. How many of you were in his household at the time? Oh, what all? Tell him about the Carola. I'm more jealous than you. The be jealous. I was there. Abama didn't move for the be jealous. Uh, he has two stepmothers who were also there, living there. Plus his younger sister. We were, living, we were living in the compound, but he has a brother also who was living nearby. Uh, who was the head of the household? The household uh, the head of the household leader was Dembo Tunkara, uh, but he was not in the country. He has also traveled by then. Let me repeat the question. I'm not sure the interpretation of the question was accurate. Uh -huh. mm. who, who was the head of the household, not the head of the family? No, Dimbaya Mimbe was Nato Jete. Who took care of the people in the home? Who provided the food? Who provided? Who paid for the bills? Jumala ka domoro sanka nati ane jube bilo ni ni kurambe jola warani ana nyongo jumala ka marling olbiela. Wole wodembo tunkara te. That's dembo tunkara. All right, but what responsibilities, if any, did Lamin have lam his, lam ni, for his towards his family? Lamin ninga dra beje. Mulong kunda dunole baate kang ninga dra beje pura la dimbal la karola. Oma mesiri nga fama duko male face wako na jembe bilua sola suke lingo kono. Just that we were staying with his father's younger brother, we were all renting in the same compound. Na imen soto akaka for dimba ya mankabi ke kilingot. Whatever he earns, he comes and give it to the family. We join everything together and uh, make it as one. So he took care of his family to the best of his, his ability, to the extent of his earnings. Amunta ala dimba la karo atele katre atele marlila andung akau ke nyale mialongo ala soto buloe men no ama akawaleke. Hade. Yes. So tell us what happened on that day. He told you that he was going to Banjo. Uh, he responded to a call and said, I am coming, I am coming. 
and he left what happened afterwards silang afonye mona narna ke biringulu ngabe afi soko no je narna telephone so do meya ko mandi e akoy ko kanale kanale abi ay o jabi tuwa ko ngodo narna ko mona narna ke atade danko he went to answer to the person who called man nana then he didn't return oh after 3 to 4 till after 3 towards 4 ilibulu in the afternoon I was lying and sleeping in the house. Yeah, handcuff nanginanata. He was in handcuffs when they came with him. A coma, blue ya handcuff coma. His hands were cuffed behind him. But ani melnanta moti je me uniform ono. But the people who who came with him, none of them wore uniforms. Ah, but is here to back here. But there were many. Did they carry anything? Ofenbe bulaba. No fente buloko no. No, they weren't having anything in did, their hands. Did you see any guns or pistols? Kido jela bang orando inkiri neo bang. Ani man kido jela. No, I didn't see any guns. How many men did you see him come with? Ani mo jela nara menu na nara nyola. Siya ta mo tango tele de. There were more than ten people. Kosi ebu mo fale biko mesun menu single room alo kono. Because we were living in a single room, but when they all came in, the house was filled up. And then what happened? They told me to go out. I went out. Who told, who told you to? Jumala ko ete findi banta. Ani mel dunta nambung kono. The people he came with. Was it intimidating? Yeah, for kula ni malo ko. Ya Kenya mi ngasila nyawa. Ngasila nyawa rata leban ya Kenya mi. Ha, ngasila nyawa tam fi banta. Yes, it was really intimidating, fearful. And what did you do? Ite mo ne ngasila. Nata finti banta lo ta peran ko. When I went out and stood under the veranda, and then mm -hmm. I left them inside the house. They didn't stay there long. They came out. Do you know what they were doing inside? No, I didn't know what happened inside. So what happened after they left? They came out of the house. When they came out with him from the house, they came up to the middle of the compound. At that time, the yard owner had returned from his travels. In fact, uh, his uh, return from his travels was very close to the incident. Then he asked them, where are you people going? Where are you people going? One of them replied to the man and told him that if you want to know where we are going, just follow us. And then? Then we left them and they departed. One of his stepmothers, I didn't recognize any one of them, but the stepmother recognized somebody among them. Who? His stepmother called Fatma Tajaite. Do you, do you recall the person Fatuma Sajaita recognized from yeah. amongst the group? Hello, Obama didn't give me Fatuma Sajaita. I meant Sute Ikonoye. You have to know what I mean. You have to know what I mean, but you have to know what I mean. I cannot remember uh, that person, but still, the person is known to Fatuma Sajaita. Uh, could you get us the name from Fatima Tajaita later? That is, if you can't re recall the name. Ningada ite hakilota amano la. For nyaro domande isin de amano ya tuonyi soro no Fatima Tajaita. Ansa tuo soto no because Fatima Tajaita fa mabejane. Yes, we can get the name because Fatima Tajaita herself is present here. We can do that later. So okay, nyaro domande. Right. So and then what happened after that? Muna nyaro na ge wakola. After the nata la telephone nota. Afterwards. Uh, she took her telephone. I am call. She called me. Jumale ate a call. Lamin tunka rafa walanta. Okay. Afterwards, Lamin called me back using his own phone. Telephone full ale bunonga bulokon. He had two telephones at that time. Okay. Before that, Januwo. When you get back into the house, into the room, bunonyinkon. Did you notice anything? Foy fen suje bunonyinkon o jela ba. Yeah, when I went in, things which were in the cupboard were all thrown around inside the house. Yeah. And uh, would it be correct to say that the house was ransacked or it was searched? For the 
Hadi. Yes. Did you notice anything missing at that time? Bire dun la je fo e fen kalamu dal ko fen filta jele ba wato la. Hani. No, I didn't. So later you received a call from Lamin. Nyaata do man ne inaata na telephone so do ka bo Lamin bulu. Ha ko nye kan samba ba nyun police station. Yes, he informed me that I am being taken to the Banjul police station. And then? Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh. Not a fact. Okay, problem. Tala. I said to him, okay, there is no problem. That's how uh, her, her, his stepmothers all became aware. And in senior. Plus the neighbors. Then I called my parents in Banjul. I told them that my husband has just been arrested, but they said they are going to banjul with him. So the, uh, my parents in banjul went to the police station. In fact, they arrived there before us. We also went and, reached, uh, and arrived at the st police station. Myself and Nato Jaite and Farmata Jaite. Nae Nyoje. We saw him. Natara Lori. We found him standing. Manta Natarala. He was quite well. Abe comfortable. And he was comfortable. Amamuta Fenti. Uh, he didn't take it as anything. Natra Osuto Purka Bill. We tried to bail him that night. Bail man Nansotono Kofosoma. They said no, they only be, it can be, he can be bailed only tomorrow. Yeah. And which date are we talking about? July 24th, long minute. July 24th, Mwani Nani. July 24th, the day he was arrested. Uh, the records show that he was arrested July 23rd. Saferonga Menso Rajangwe may intend Yanko, July Karo, to Limwang and in Sabale Yamuta. Police station records. Police all love Bugu Ning Safiro Menki Jewe or Tandi. As you go on telling you another date, Nina. Well, it's possible that I might have forgotten the date. In your mind, on which day was he arrested? Was it a Friday, a Saturday, or a Sunday? It's a Hakiloto. For it, I am the Amura Lunjumalam, for Yamura Jumolam, for Sibidolam, and for Dimasolam. Dimasolam. It was on a Sunday. That's what you think, right? They all admit a Kodi. That's what you still have in your mind. And right? it could be yeah. well be the okay. And uh, you could not have him bailed that night. Uh, what happened afterwards? Munda wo lungo ning o sugo ning alma soro no purka bail. Muna na rena ke o samo unyaro. O samo fana na tata jenga bail try kote ke. The following day we returned to and tried to bail him again. Who was trying to secure the bail? Jumalo ba kata kano purka bail soro no. Nte na akoto malamin sabali. Myself and his elder brother called Lamin Sabali. Do you recall who you were talking to to secure his bail? He gave over the number. It turned out the amount of money Jumal Jumale put as keno put alia bail no. Hani. No. So on the second day, did you succeed? No, no, no. 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 No, no, we are there until the following day again, which was the third day of his arrest. In the morning, before even I went there, I called with different number. He called me with a different number, which was not his own phone or number. He said to me, Adam, I said, yes. He said, well, I don't know, I'm confused, I don't know what's happening. Because I feel I've been transferred and put on some Kairaba police station. Because now uh, I am being transferred to the Kairaba police station. At this stage, do you know what he, he was arrested for? For Kabul Katako Katafo, what all? For Yala Dalilome Asabu Yamutaba. How can you not alone Dalilome Atina Yamuta because I found a lot of Yes, during all these things, I later came to know why he was arrested because he himself told me. What exactly did he tell you? He told me some Ghanians came from Ghana and came to the Gambia here. So that I can travel with them through the Barque and go to Spain. can travel with them through the Barque and go to Spain. Bari agento soto le ora di Senegal, bari ning agento ni stop ta Senegal le agento ni entenye itole bole. They had an agent in Senegal, 
but that agent is still based in Senegal, and it was that agent who introduced them to me so that I can go with them. And what else did he say? That's all what he told me. Did he tell you what, what happened to those Ghanaians? Did he tell you what happened to those Ghanaians? In fact, they didn't believe that these people were intending to travel by the back way. Did he tell you about the whereabouts of these Ghanaians, where they were at that time? For I have found the Ghanaian dingle ning, even in mid dole or mafe or what ola. Any more akil to? No, I didn't uh, keep that in mind. Did you see any of these Ghanaians yourself? It found kundu enya boy da ning Ghanaian ul found ul kanda bang. Ha, biri be kaira ba. Yes, when they were at the Karabakh station. So you came to learn that uh, he was arrested with the Ghanaians. Munda inata na kalamuta ko ya ni Ghanaian ulle muda nyola. Afungole afunye. He himself told me that. That's right. So, but did you realize that? From Banjul police station, he was in fact officially or formally released. But if we are in Kalamutala, co, Kabu Banjul police station, oro, ye ye in fola co ya bulale, Kabu muruakon. Mu mu Lamin Cham la testify. I heard that when Lamin Cham was testifying here. Did that come as a surprise to you? Okay, the jackal cool, diba. Back and forth. Yes, really. Why? Nyadi. Because I didn't hear that he was released. So, and he told you he was being taken to Kairaba station. Yes, that's what he told me. And afterwards, did you talk to him again? Yes, whenever I go to Kairaba, I see him and we discuss, we talk. So tell us about your visit to Kairaba Silang station. I used to go to Kairaba. In the morning. In the afternoon. Because I used to take breakfast to him. And I also carry his lunch there. And whatever he wants. And uh, while there, have you ever gone there with a newspaper? I once went there with a newspaper. Do you remember what was in the newspaper? I don't know what was written uh, in that newspaper. Because it was he himself who told me one day that if you see these new newspaper vendors, try to secure one and bring it for me. Because I still don't understand what is going on. They might write our case in the newspaper. Uh, did was anything written on the newspaper about him and his arrest? Yes, 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 if it is written there, I cannot remember really now. So when you visited the Kairaba station, how often would you see the Ghanaians? They were all in the same enclosure inside uh, uh, the, the, the cell there. Yeah, that's right. And did the Ghanaians know that you were Tunkara's wife? As far as you know. Ah, biri Martin nata jang ala force ya kana diam press conference la lenga alongo yelone because that time ninte tada ngalone ko yani mule muda nyola but ninte hakilo katarangi madam Malika. I knew that he was arrested with people, but whenever I go there, my mind is always focused on my husband. But when Martin first came to the country here, well, that's the time when I heard 
he said that uh, when he mentioned uh, uh, about me when he was talking. Which suggests to me that he knew me. All yeah. Right. Okay. So how many, do you recall how many times you went to Kairaba? Yakilo sa mudan mano le bang sinya jellem isda ra Kairaba police station ra kara kumpa boro la jay. Lo kono denga ta jay lo ko sinya flat mundo sinya saba. Well, I used to visit there to sometimes twice a day, sometimes three times a day. How many days? Tili jalu. Tili saba. Three days. And that what happened after the third day? Muna na na ke tilo saba njau. Tilo saba njau nga try le blong man nae call koka samba kaira bale. Ulun na kunyo ko purunga try ni lawyer nae nyo je ne ne cham. The third day when he informed after he informed me that he's been transferred to kaira ba. Uh, he also told me to try and see a lawyer, and he mentioned Nene Cham's name to me. Try a bill. So that he can be bailed. That was his third day at the Kairaba police station. But I talked to Nene Cham on the day that he was being transferred from Banjul to Kairaba station. And do you know whether... Uh, Lawyer, lawyer Nene Cham did anything to secure his bail? But if I allow Nego, a lawyer, a government Nene Cham, for I got a call fairly about Purkajako, I had a Billy Ross or Nova. Hadi? Yes. How do you know that? A Wolonia dealer. We didn't know Mitta Nakuru de la Prine Lamin Bill. When we met, I gave her money for her to bail Lamin. Longman Nikita at a Fango Jikita Kabe Lamin Bill and the Fangotara Kaira Valley. The day that she was hoping to bail Lamin, I myself, or I was at Kairaba that day. But I had tried to put bail in police station without court. I'm not bail soto. She tried her level best at the police station there to bail him, but uh, it was without impossible a without a court ruling. Another bail ying apply Banjul Magistrate Court. And she later applied the bail through the Banjul Magistrate's Court. Another bail deal I signed already. Then he was granted bail and it was signed. How do you know that? We discussed about this because I myself, I was present at Kairaba that day. Did she give you anything to prove that fact? Oh, I Yes. Do you have it? Yes, I have it here. Yes, I have it here. Uh, Mr. Chair, I have a few documents here provided by the witness. Uh, uh, the first one is dated uh, 26th day of July 2005, uh, and it's summons a notice posted one to section 19 of the Constitution of the Gambia and section 99. I think uh, this is an application for bail, uh, and it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, on behalf of Lamin Tunkara as applicant and the state as respondent, and it was uh, the summons was taken out by uh, lawyer Nene Cham Chongan of of Basan Sang Chambers, um, and uh, the next document I have here. It's dated 1st August 2005, uh, and it's addressed to the Sheriff of the High Court in Banjul, uh, and Islam in Tunkara versus the state at the High Court slash 288 slash 05 slash CR slash 50 slash C. Uh, in, in which uh, the principal registrar uh, indicated the, the following. Please get the applicant from Kairaba police station where he is currently being detained as ordered by the court, copy of which is attached. And uh, the next document is the court order uh, signed by Georgian Chambers B.Y. Kamara addressed to Nene, well, addressed to Nene Cham Chongan uh, and uh, also to Cherno Marena, who represented the state. 
and uh, the order was that uh, bail is hereby granted on condition that a Gambian national with landed property can stand as surety for him. And he must report to the nearest police station once a week to ensure the police investigations can be facilitated as one of the conditions of the bail. So we have the bail order and the application for the bail. And uh, the bail order date is dated the 26th of July? Uh, 1st uh, of August. 1st, 1st of, of August? Yes. Okay, thank you. 1st of August. That's right. Um, and after this bail, bring him bail Borala. Did they come to release him? Bring Kaunar and Adi Kabukiti Bunda or Purka Bail Bail Dita for in Aranabula. Hani Manabula. No, they didn't release him. And what happened? Silam Munanaranake. Nene Cham Tata Kairaba Purka Bail Wolum Fong. Nene Cham went to Kairaba so that uh, she can bail him on that day. But Nene Memfonteko, Yenina Faiko, Esoning, Tejam Menyan Daka Kaitun in sign Purka Lam in Bail. What? Uh, Nene told me was that the SO was not at the station and he was the person who was supposed to sign the document so that they can release Lamin. So, Nene told me to sign for SOMA. Then Nene told me now, let's leave it till tomorrow. But uh, I'm sure they will uh, release him tomorrow. If I come, they'll release him on bail. And then, what happened after that? <laughs> Madam Conte, are you able to proceed? Yes. That night, did you take dinner for him as you would normally do? No, I was going to go to the house. 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 I didn't go that day. It was his younger brother who went there that night. And then what happened? When uh, he younger brother went and he didn't find him there, then he called. And told me that, well, Lamin, I didn't meet him here. I asked him, is it him alone? or was it him and all those who were with him there?
They told me not a single person is here in their cells. Okay, what, okay, they then I told him, okay, now you can come back. That's how I went and informed his two stepmothers. This is how we decided to hire a taxi. We went to the Kairaba police station. The person we found there, I don't know who, but he was the guy on duty that day. We asked him, I told him, a uh, uh, young man brought dinner here, but he didn't meet Lamin here. Where did they take him? He said, well, I don't know where he was taken to. But all of them were removed here and taken away. Did he tell you who took them away? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't tell me that. Did you tell you that uh, the organization those people are affiliated with? Did you, did you, he didn't tell me that either. He just told me that they have been removed here and taken away. And uh, what happened after that? Then we decided to leave the place. Myself and his two stepmothers, Nato and Fatumata. Then we went to the Kanifing. Kanifing where? Kanifing Minto. Kanifing station or the Paral Katadam. The Kanifing police station where the Paras are stationed. We went there, but we didn't find him there too. And in Josuan, then Tanada say. Then we went to Josuan, still the same. Then we decided to go home. And then, did you end your search for him? No, we didn't stop there. Well, uh, the following day, we started asking people, uh, we started asking around, but we didn't go to anywhere. This is how we were there. I was at home like that. Until after some time, my father told me to go back to the compound, our family compound. In the, me in the meantime, did you talk to the lawyer, Nene Cham Chongan? I talked to her. Yes, I talked to her. What did she say to you? When I questioned her, I told her, Nene, this thing is really puzzling to me. She replied to me that, well, she's also puzzled as well, because the man has already been granted bail. And did she, do you know whether she's taking any steps officially to find out where Lamin was? Yes. Yes, Nene told me that she is trying uh, to know where Lamin has been taken to. And uh, do you know what action she took? No, I don't know anything about that. Uh, do you know whether she wrote a letter? Yes, she wants to tell me that she wrote letters Yes, he once told me that she wrote letters and sent it to certain places, but I don't know where and where. Did she provide you any, with any of those documents? No, she didn't give me any. Uh, in the stack of documents you just provided, there is this letter written by lawyer Nene Cham Chongan and the mayor of Olem lawyer Nene Cham Chongan addressed to the inspector general of police and the letter running aya ki mayor Olem police wala kundon ko and it is dated 8 August 2005 letter running safara dum men wala August 4 2005 signed by her and dum ata fam kundi ngone Nene Cham Chongan atale a sign and she made a very strong case eh kuma kam bamba ni ngol del keje that uh, Lamin was in the custody of the police. Lamin, the police will tell Morocco now. And uh, he has not been seen no, since, since uh, 4th August 2005. Since 1st of August 2005. August 2005. 
And in the fourth paragraph of the letter, uh, he said as she said as follows. It wasn't until Thursday, the 4th August 2005, that to my utter disbelief, I was informed that my client had escaped, quote-unquote, the night before. Since then, I have made inquiries, but I have been offered no satisfactory explanation as to how, if at all, my client managed to escape police custody. And the next paragraph, she went on to say, Sir, you will agree that if the above allegations are true, yes, urgent and appropriate action by the police was required. Yes, to trace my client's whereabouts. I, as his counsel, and his family have the right to demand to know his whereabouts and to have access to him. We expect no less than prompt and appropriate action to be taken in this very serious matter that is causing his family increasing concerns. I await your early reply. We do not know whether there was a reply at all. But already in this letter, the elements of enforced disappearance have started emerging. After these efforts by Nene Cham, did you get any results, any positive results? Honorable Chairman, no. Did you stop your search for him? No, I didn't stop there. Tell us what further steps you took. After After I delivered, after my delivery, when well, my child was a few months old, one morning I got up. Tata mile two. I went to mile two. Tata la I went there to ask about his whereabouts or to get information about him. People I found there, I don't know them. I asked them, I asked, I told them that I'm looking for somebody called Lamin Tunkara. The man said to me, wait, let me look in the file. He went through the pages of the file. He said to me, there is no name uh, corresponding to Lamin Tunkara's name here. I said to him, wouldn't you allow me to go inside so that I can check around for myself? Because he has been arrested and I haven't still, still seen him. And it has already gone, uh, it taken some months after his arrest. He told me all those people incarcerated here, their names are inside this book here. 
still I didn't go. I was sitting outside there. For some hours. For some hours. Then I decided to have faith in Allah. I got up. I went home. When I went home, still I didn't give up. The following day, I went to the NIA office. I went to the NIA office. Just yes. behind Arch 22. So in the morning. We bunda At the gate, I I, I went to their gate. What do you The man I found at the gate there. I asked him. I said to him, I'm looking for somebody called Lamin Tunkara. He asked me, what is he to you? I said to him, the man is my husband. He said to me, I have been on the night shift duty, but wait for those coming to morning coming for morning duties. They will check for you. If he is here, you will know. If he isn't here, they will inform you. I said, okay, no problem. I sat down outside there with my baby. One man came and found me there. With his vehicle. I don't know him. He said to me, sister, who are you looking for? I said to him, I'm looking for my husband. Because I went to mile two and he is not there. And I heard that they usually keep people, incarcerate people here. So this is why I said, let me come here and try. He asked me, who is your husband? I said to him, Lamin Tunkara. He said, oh, Lamin Tunkara is your husband? He said, yes. He asked me, you, where are you staying? I said to him, I'm staying in Banjul here at Haddington Street. He said to me, why don't you come with me? I'll take you home. I said to him, no, I'm waiting for people walking here. They said those coming for morning duties can give me information whether he is here or not. The man tried and convinced me until uh, I agreed to board his vehicle. He took me all the way to our Johnson, Spalding Haddington Johnson. That's where I dropped. He gave me some money and told me, uh, take this for your baby. 200 or 300, but estimately 300. He gave me 200 or 300, but I think it was 300. Uh -huh. Then that's how he left. Then I went, I went into the compound. How did he know that you had a child? My child, was, my baby was in my hands. I used to travel with the baby. In your conversation, did it appear to know to me? Did it appear to you that he knew who your husband was? In a lot of the money we join in Kono for a man, they saw no more Kono, Ninde, I am came out on the Jimala. According to Iafonian Yamento, I am looking at Kulo Ninko Kono. The way he told me, he talked to me, it became clear to me that this man has knows something about this whole matter. Can you tell us what he said? to you which suggests that he knew about your husband. Is our phone on you? I'm going to go to the house. 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 The way he asked me, is Lamin Tunkara your husband? I'm going to go to the house. And he repeated, ah, is that man your husband? I said yes. So I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah, after that, that was the time when he tried to convince me so that he can return me home. Then, when, the way he asked me, uh, saying that, uh, is Lamin your husband, it appeared to me that this man knew something about the case. Uh, did he say anything else to you? No, he didn't tell me anything else. Did he give you an advice as to how to handle this matter? Yes, he said that to me. What did he say? Because he told me, stop looking for lamin. Go and sit at home with your baby. 
kay problem talante tan da halal ni nga daw dalon ko nyanta tala jelen kay mbita jen i said to him well there is no problem but i will not rest wherever i know that i can go there to find out about him i will go there did he suggest what would happen if you continue to your pursuit eh fo anara na fo enne ba anara ni miro di lele ko ni nga re tenden da pour ka la min nyini fo anara na fo enne ba men be kelaba ko nyele da hanino la bara man na fo nya he didn't tell me anything else but he categorically told me to stop looking for lami did he say that you would put yourself in trouble fo anara na fo enne bang ko ni me da hanino la be fanjela e ko le akono le ba na ko nyele do da hala min nyino le ta si so ko no ni do he didn't tell me he didn't tell me that he just told me stop looking for lami go home and sit down at home ah what if anything came to your mind when he said when he suggested to you to stop looking for lami munem ning atra beje bring a koy ko idda ha lami nyino la ba ngalu ni bira yo sonno moko no men na tan sonno moko no le nyindi ko ku koy rinte nyin ku wako but i thought after he told me that was that well this thing is looking now dubious did you still have hope that he was alive o hanin kabi nar na nyi jigo soto ko hanin kabi abe balure ni man na jigo soto woto from that on i started losing hope uh, did you eventually get confirmation as to what happened to him nya la ba nyi fo inar na ku sene ngo soto ko nyi ngo ko mun nar na mun ketala anna ta ku sene ngo soto je yes i lot i let got something clear when was that ku keta wati juma allah martin la force ya kana gambia when martin came first the first year he came to gambia which martin are you referring to martin jumalla mo foka martin kireo martin kire martin chieri martin martin chieri martin ah. chieri uh, where is martin from martin boda mindola gana he's from gana when was the last time you saw him wadi jumalla mo wadi labango de menne nyaalo ta kan mam me tele sa ba ko ma donga i fresh conference ke victim center about 3 days back he held a press conference at the victim center that was after his IC testimony before before the commission wo keta bi ngay seden do di commission nyaati lo la jango ko la hade yes uh, so you met him before bari amunda jannu wo ina bendale hade yes and uh, could you tell us about that meeting fo isi wo bengo nyin kuma fo fo no nyi wo bengo nyin do ba a wo keta ngam senegal be jang hotel do le beje that happened at a hotel around senegambia atara martin nyanta na la victim center len te call because at that time martin was supposed to come but i was called by the victim center ko nyoko martin kana gambia le soma they told me martin is coming to the gambia tomorrow ko pour inin binta al sinale ta ay al invite sima wala so that you can you can come with binta he has decided to invite you for dinner but before this janin ning did you have a relationship or any contact with the victim center fo enim victim center fo ala ñu ciok ñolo soto ñolo ñoo tay mala ba hadi yes did you tell us about that is ko fo no ñew woto ba before ka register victim center be serin ne ro before registering at the victim center one day i was sitting at home la min fama la broda la min fathers broda ka fay musa tunkara is called musa tunkara i am call he called me koñi adam am kay nam nay ñoo content we exchanged greetings after he called me koñi victim center be janne ya yelele pour meni alon ko man toro laté ka he informed me that there is a place called victim center uh, it's for those who were victimized uh, uh, they have that they have that place here and do laf tale ngata ñola pour yete yete register so i want to go along with you to that place so that they can register you too and this was how many years after you last saw lamin ning keta sanji jelu ko la waro men na ila banda lamin jela sanji tanni woro njawm bula ta wala kon we were in the 16th year because ndi ngobe sanji tanni lu say nga bula ta sanji tanni woro njawm wala kon because my child is uh 15 years at that time but now my child is 16 years old when you registered with to with victim center when was that what did you mala me yesa fe victim center ye to safe ye ay sanji fula sila de fo saba sanji saba fo fula da ha sanji saba it's about 3 years now and uh, that would be 2018 obekala 2018 samala kon ha de yes 
and uh, Lamin disappeared in 2005. Lamin ye manta 2005 Yes. That should be after 13, 14 years of continuous absence. Correct? Yes. 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 So yes. Why did you register with the victim center? Why did you register with the victim center? Why did you register with the victim center? Why did you register The reason I went there to register was that his father took me there to go and register. Because left on maybe as you can register that you found it out, Moko do so to me along co, Umbelamin no co calamalona. Because the reason for that is I was also hoping maybe if I register there, one fine day I will come across a very important information about Lamin. And uh, then it was afterwards that you were called by the victim center to inform you to come to meet Martin. Kola la mbirieto safi victim center o kola la mina rani yokuwa depuri na na ining Martin yebango soto ale ai bunya to kumande si mangola. Hadi. Yes. At this stage, did you know anything that uh, about anything that has happened to Lami? Oh, foka bula watu la fo inarana kula na bamba na mengine la Lami na bamba. Rini Martin mita lengo akunka moile barbiri Martin dia mutole akwai tama. Well, I used to hear from people. But it became crystal clear to me when I sat down with Martin and he gave me the news. What did he say to you? I didn't recognize Martin. And uh, that night we didn't meet uh, Martin himself. We met uh, uh, the other person we met at Luigi's. Because he got a flight late, the man na na swo kuda ntol na ta siman seida. Because they said his flight was late, uh, he didn't arrive. Then we took dinner and went home. We saw more than na na mid program do la nyento. Because then the following day was the day that we met with him at the program. But we didn't have a dunkang feel stalo kono purkata si. So when I was entering the hall to go and sit down, nim binta ndemo bulo ben bulo kono. Myself and Binta, and I was holding my child's hand. But on the whole, Martin has seen and recognized me. That's how he came and hugged Binta. He cried bitterly. In fact, that day, I was trying to console him. It was after all that we exchanged greetings, we shook hands. So another day my singing explained. And that was the time he started talking, he explained the whole scene to me. And he, he told me that whenever I take food to Lamin at the police station, he used to see me. And he said that I was pregnant by then. And that's how it happened. So when he saw that child with me, he knew that this, my, this is my child. So what all Martin told me, how they killed these people and how Martin himself escaped, I cannot narrate all that here. But that was the day it became clear to me 100 percent that Lamin is dead. That's how it happened. Of course, other people have testified before the TRRC. Yeah, And you have you had their testimonies? Yes, I listened to some of the testimonies. Which ones did you hear? I heard the, when the three junglers were testifying here, the soldiers, but I don't know their names. I listened to their testimony. Do you now have full confirmation Sila. as to what has happened? Yes, now I know what has happened. And how did you manage? Yeah, quota nyadile. Since his disappearance. During a year, yeah, kakuolfera no nyadile. 
Well, I decided to be here. I uh, thank Allah because of my relatives. Plus my parents. They are always around me. They used to talk to me. They don't allow me to be lonely. Whenever his affair comes up, even right now, it looks like it happened just now. Thank you, Mr. Chair. No further questions. Thank you very much, Chairman Council, and uh, uh, thank you, Madam Adama Conte, for coming to testify uh, before the Commission. We share your pain, and I'm sorry that uh, you have to endure so much um, uh, in finding out uh, what happened to Lamin Tunkara. Uh, this should not have happened to uh, him in his own country in the hands of um, uh, uh, agents of the state. Uh, commissioners, if you have any questions, um, please indicate. Otherwise, um, uh, if you have any concluding remarks to make, uh, Mrs. Um, Conte, you may please um, proceed to do so now. Saying, uh, Madam Conte, Natara Kumabeda Ebela Kacha Kumfala Mena Efanancio Yitandi. Okay. You can take your time a little bit. Ilawato Ta. What I'm going to say as my closing remarks, my thanks to the Victim Center and I hail them for their efforts. My sincere thanks to the TRRC and I hail them too. Because this thing has taken a long time going around. But from the onset of the TRRC, so many things which were in darkness came out to light. We, uh, I, I, I thank the Commission sincerely and all those working at the TRRC. Because a lot of things were revealed to me here. <coughs> my sincerest thanks to my parents too. Plus Lamin's parents. Because whenever Lamin's affairs comes up, none of them sits down. They will all get up and stand. They can say, yes, today Lamin is not around. If I'm coming to testify, none of them will appear. But when his father became aware and when Martin testified here, his father called me. He is in Badibu. Uh, the father told me that when I had Martin's testimony, the whole night I was smoking and crying till in the morning. Then I told him, well, have faith in Allah and bear what has happened. Well, he left only one child behind. Let's all pray to Allah to preserve this child. If Allah does that, well, in the future, things will become easier. The way I am sitting down here, I want the truth and justice. That's the only thing I need. And if it is uh, about forgiveness, the government who were responsible. I cannot forgive that government. I want truth and justice. 
woman sakundante may yam fano woman sakundante. That government, I cannot forgive them. Because I could imin nengo lelanka. Because they placed a big burden on me, something very painful. I dingo din na may alon ka uluta mafaj. I had a child who was born without even seeing his father. Din nengo nimbe ke baya kane sai. The child is growing up now. Na miro duntala. Whenever the thought comes to her. Abuke de ya kafonye. He doesn't keep quiet. He, he, he tells me, Musola mfake. Musola. Yeah. Abuke de ya kafonye ma yaya jambele nte fa ma fa. She cannot be quiet. She tells me, ma, it is yaya jambe who killed my father. Nka yembe kala la momo lo nga tuje. I, I, what I always tell her is that what will happen, nobody knows. Let's leave it with Allah. So nina na kumaka wote. This is what I want to say here. Menke ma fa nante ntu lambe futu ka meye sa inteng. My sincerest thanks to the husband now, I'm, the man I am married to now. He, he can tell me, Lamin is not here, but you are marrying to me now. If he has not allowed me, I wouldn't have been able to sit down here. But since after these things happened and until I came to marry with him, he always tries to console me and tell me, well, have faith and always say what you know about the case. <laughs> don't say anything that you don't know. From the day of creation, Allah decided <coughs> that he will die like this. <laughs> so my thanks to everybody. My family members are here. Lamin's family members are also present. Thanks to all of you. Uh, Thank you very much Ms. indeed, um, uh, uh, Madam Conte. And uh, uh, the truth that you seek is the truth that um, uh, all victims are coming here seek, and it is the principal uh, um, component of our mandate. Yeah, baraka baake, Madam Conte. Ibe to nyame nyinin kang. Anung sede kote ngulu menufanal nata jang ekate to nyame nyinin. Wotonya wole mo kango ni nsemboti ya mendi ntolula prunga wotonya njini nga bondi. You've come here to testify before the commission. Inataja mpuruka sede ya roke komiso mwenye atili mula. Help us establish the thema truth. Puruka ntolufanalu makwe nga tonya sabatindi. The other victims also seek what you refer to and that is my justice. Commission has heard um, uh, accounts of uh, the suffering of um, all victims. Commission uh, It would come to some conclusion on uh, the issue of dispensation of justice. We thank you very much on behalf of the Commission. Be numbara la bake Commission o toya la ila sede ya rokang. Thank you. Baraka. Council, you have um, some submissions, some matter. Uh, uh, yes, please, Mr. Proceed. Chair. Before the witness is discharged or released, I just wish to say that uh, some agent of or somebody close <coughs> to Yaya Jame has called the witness and. Uh, has offered some words of uh, consolation. I do not want to speculate, uh, but uh, anything beyond basic and bona fide consolation may bother on interference with the witness, or perhaps even intimidation. So I warn whosoever is involved to desist uh, from such activities. A lot of contemptuous activity has been committed against the Commission. The Commission had consistently disregarded these activities and moved on with the noble work that it is doing for the Gambian people. Uh, I do hope that the persons concerned uh, would bear this in mind and exercise the greatest discretion and avoid things that would be contrary or offensive to the laws of this country. Uh, 
I want to leave it at that. Fine. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, my counsel. Um, you said that somebody close to Yahya Jame, did he indicate if he was speaking on behalf of Yahya Jame? Uh, no. Okay. If, if the person did, I would have said so. And uh, from what I know, the person offered words of consolation. Uh, that is not against the law. But, uh, but of course, uh, if, if a gang leader kills your father and the associate of the gang leader calls you at the eve of your testimony before the commission and tries to offer words of consolation, that is questionable bona fides. Splendid. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Um, can you make your submissions now? Yes, uh, uh, the exhibits, Mr. Chair, the bail application by the able lawyer Nene Cham Chongan, uh, dated 26 July uh, 2005, with the attachments to the exhibit 204, with the, and with the um, affidavits attached to the exhibit 104. Yeah, 204. Yeah. 204. And uh, the bail order uh, and the transmission letter should be exhibit 204A. Uh, sorry, uh, the transmission letter should be 204A, and uh, the, the order itself should be 204A1. And uh, then the letter to the police uh, IGP should be exhibit 204B. Uh, if, if admitted, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, these are four submissions? Uh, four exhibits. Four exhibits, I mean. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but we submit them here. Yeah, four. four. Okay, fine. Just want to make sure that uh, we, are, we have the same score. 204, 204A, 204A1, and 204B. B. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good. Thank you very much indeed. Again, um, uh, Madam Conte, thank you again for coming to testify before the Commission. Madam Conte, Inimbara, Isonda Kanase, the Arola Commission. We will now take um, uh, a 30 minute um, uh, break and uh, resume with a new witness. Council, can you confirm that there is a new witness coming after the coffee break? Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, we'll resume at 12 15. Uh, may I ask that we resume quarter past 12? Yeah, Just to enable some yeah. consultations with the witness. 12.15 we will resume. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Our meeting is adjourned.